Welcome back guys, in this video I will be showing you how to install PureTax FSR 3 frame generation mod in Baldur's Gate 3. We will be testing the game in the lower city area 3rd act on my ROG ally. I have the set one extreme variant of this device. You need to subscribe to PureTax Patreon in order to gain access to their Discord server where the mod file is present. These are the installation instructions for the mod. Extract the contents of the mod to disk directory, Baldur's Gate 3, pin. Launch the game in DirectX 11 mode and then select Borderless in-game. Enable in-game DLSS or DLAA. The mod fakes it so that even AMD and Intel GP owners can disable Apex Command can enable DLSS in-game. Press the end keyboard key to open the mods menu. If you are using the mod for the first time, you will be required to authenticate the mod. Click on the authenticate button when you open the mods menu. A new browser window will pop up. Need to sign into your Patreon account. Authenticator will ask for your permission. Click on allow. After that, return to the game. Now try to access the mods menu. You will be able to access the mod settings. Hotkey for toggling frame generation is numpad star. So just head to pure dash discord server under download section. Click on bg3 beta access. Scroll down to that. You will find the link to the mod. There it is. I am using fsr3 build01 hotfix1. Click on the link. There is the archive file that I just downloaded. Open it. Select all of the files and folder. Right click copy. Now open the games install directory, steam version, open your steam library, select the game, right click, manage, browse local files, this is the games install directory, open bin folder, paste the mod files here, games exe file is present, and that's it. I have set the UMA buffer size to 6GB, my ally is running on BIOS version 337, I have installed the latest stable GPU drive from AMD, adrenaline version 24.3.1, command center settings, all power values set at 25 watts, RSR disabled, CPU boost disabled, 720p resolution, start the game, using afterburner overlay to show you the performance metrics, connected my GUI kit KK3 Max gamepad to ally via Bluetooth mode, you will see this message at the startup. Data mismatch, ignore it, click on close. Sign into your Larian account or skip it, entirely up to you. Run the game in DirectX 11 mode. Adrenaline settings, VSync enable, VSync disable, anti lag setting enable. Make sure you disable Steam input, otherwise your gamepad will not work. In game settings, display mode set to borderless window, 720p resolution. We sync disable, we have access to DLSS using its quality preset. I am just using the low preset. Go to the third act, lower city area. Before that, I will just open the mods menu, press the end keyboard key. There you go. Enable frame generation setting checked, I will disable it for the time being. Enable hotfix setting checked. From this drop down bar, we can select the upscalers. Mod supports DLSS, XCSS, and FSR3. DLSS is for RTX GPUs only. On ROG Ally, you can use either XCSS or FSR3. I'll use the latter. Start the game. There's my team. Here, FPS is around 28. Game is running in DirectX 12 mode. In DirectX 11 mode, FPS is usually higher by 6 to 7. I haven't enabled frame generation yet. Just explore the area on foot. A lot of non playable characters in the tavern. Yeah, if we drop down to around 26. <laughs> 25 FPS here. An explosion will trigger when I reach that house. Keep an eye on the FPS counter. 5 FPS. Now I'll enable frame generation, reload the area, enable frame generation, alright FPS increase up to 85, this is just insane, I'll switch to the gamepad, there you go. So DirectX 12 mode reduces the base FPS but frame generation saves the day and I can observe the added amount of smoothness. Games hard elements are not flickering. I'll explore the area. GP load is around 80%. Game is running so smoothly. Now 
start observing any slowdown even in the tavern and drunk people leave the place and trigger the explosion hopefully the game won't freeze for a few seconds keep an eye on the fps counter there is the explosion 40 fps not bad at all game did not freeze pretty impressed by the mods performance i'll keep exploring the mod is showing amazing results on rog ally controls are responsive it's a turn based game some input delay does not matter something going on interacting with an npc I'm looking for a more crowded area. In this game, performance barely improves with the 30 watts profile. I'm using the 25 watts profile. APU TDP is around 22 watts. You get the idea. Temperatures are under control, 66 degrees Celsius, and this is during India summer season. Let me just zoom out. I'm looking for the crowd. Use my mouse. Yeah, this area is more demanding. Fifty to eighty FPS. Made it. Switch to game pad again. Getting around sixty FPS. Not bad at all. I'll engage in combat. They are doing their thing in the background. What's going on? Some kind of a magic spell. Anyways, I'll attack this guy. There's the attack option. There's the option. Yeah, combat started. Red area, good for testing. Enter. I'll use sacred flame. Did some damage. FPS stays around 80 during combat. Zoom out. Still close to. 80, 70 to 80 FPS. Reckless attack. Very cool. So excellent performance using Pure Dark mod. Highly recommended from my side. That's it with the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.